the main event in the Rorik Fragment Fusion is the champion chase and it is finally upon us. It has been announced as a 2x void boosted summons and you can see the purple color in the portal. Now, if you're going for this fusion, it's time for you to pull your shards or check if you have enough um, fragments to even skip this event. Now, this is a void 2x. So even if I do have my Rorik right here, where is it? Rorik Winebane sitting at 80 fragments I've gotten so far. I won some tournaments that's how I was able to get uh, up to 80. This means I could skip this fusion, this champion chase that promises 15 fragments and still get this guy. How? I could win the... Um, I could easily win the, what do you call it now? Classic Arena. I have a bad habit of winning, winning Classic Arenas. I don't know what's up with that. That just dropped. And I also could get the 10 fragments. The 10 fragments that are available from the Champion Training Event that has a very long uh, milestone. This one, Champion Training. And I'm on track for this one. I'm going to get it. I was just waiting for this event to drop before pulling my mystery shards to summon or to level up more champions. So in this video, I'm going to do my shard pulls. I have a total of 38 void shards. I am free to play and void shards are the most difficult, well, not the most difficult. It's the second most difficult um, shard in the game to pull and you get the chance to build the unkillable champions comprising of one or two man eaters with the champions you get from void shards or you get amazing legendaries that will surprise people in the arena now i have never pulled a legendary void shard in this game and i've been playing for over a year i think today is my day <laughs> i think today is my day I know I'm going to get some um, epic champions. I hope it's a second man eater. I already have one man eater and I'm already doing the two key in Ultra Nightmare, one key in Nightmare and one key in Brutal and even one key in Normal. My clan is crazy like that. So let's get into the Void Shard pools. I hope I get good luck and I also hope you get good luck. I'm expecting a legendary Void Shard and I do not want it to be an Arbiter. So, I'm not going to do 10 pulls. Unfortunately, I'm going to do one single pulls. So, bear with me because I want to enjoy this moment. 38 Void Shards is not easy for a free-to-play to gain over a small period of time. Right off, we're going starting strong. Starting strong with an epic. I knew today was my day. This champion has been talked a lot so much. I thought she was... A rare champion she has been featured in so many videos attacks all enemies on her a1 attacks all enemies again how oh, aoe on a1 aoe on a2 that's amazing has an 80 percent chance of placing decreased accuracy mm -hmm. okay i think this is what they use for the dark fae right no she's where does she shine places 30% decrease speed debuff on all enemies for 2 turns. Decreases the turn meter of all enemies by 40%. Okay, this is the bread and butter. This is the magic skill. That's why she's crazy. She's awesome for the arena. When she places this decrease defense, I mean decrease speed on all enemies and also decreases the turn meter by 40%. Your allies sometimes go 2 turns before the enemies can take 1 turn. Imagine being slow and having your turn meter decreased by 40%. That's crazy. So, I already have a Lissandra. I already have an Abita. So, will I be building her into a team for my um, arena? Hell no. But for the Dark Elves faction, she will be amazing. I have not completed this um, faction and she will come in there straight to do her role. So, let's go. I told you the single pulls will give me what I need. 
Will the next one be the legendary champion that I've been waiting for for one year and six months? No, it's a rare champion. We're not gonna look at rare champions in this account because I'm a end game player by all means, and I do not want to build a rare champion except it's for a special occasion. Rage Monga is not bad, but it's not somebody I'll take to a six star. Renegade, the awesome champions that pairs with a seer. Now, if I do get a seer. I wouldn't want a legendary. So either raid, Plarion, please give me a seer to go with my renegade. I already have a renegade. This is a deep renegade for me. Give me a seer to go with him. Or oh, her. It's a ha. Yeah. Give me a seer to go with my renegade or give me a legendary champion. Let me specify a legendary void champion. What's next? Do we have another rare? Nothing special. I'm not interested to see what you do. Sorry about that. Um, Scraper, not interested. That was a call from Plarium informing me that I will be getting my legendary void chat today. <laughs> Psych. Retainer, food. I hope I have enough space. Yes, I do have enough space for 38 void shard pools. If I waited until reset, I could maybe get two more from all the um, clan boss um, chest rewards, maybe 31. All these rares are food, food for me. I don't think duplicate retainer again. All right, let's hit the button a little bit faster. We are closer to that epic. I knew it. Another. Yes. Double man eater, bat eater, whatever you call those comps. Here I come. I already have a two key that can do it. But with this team, I think I can push it to a one key. I don't yet have this Farrakhan the Fat, so I don't know how it will be possible to get a one key Ultra Nightmare team without with a double man eater. So I don't know the other three champs that will bring the damage. I know it involves an ally attack, a Krilla, but I do not have all ally attack right now. I do have a counter attack, but that doesn't work with man eater comps, I don't think. I will research it, and if I do get it working, you'll see a video about it. I'm satisfied. Well, not really. I already have it on killable budget on killable, so I'm not that happy pulling a second man eater. But I'm I'm great. At least now I can make it work for a lot of affinities. Sorry if you don't yet have a man eater. Everybody deserves at least one to have a budget on killable team. I made a video about how I used to hate on people who have um, on killable teams. <laughs> Check it out in the playlist. All right, let's go to the next one. These shard pools are going my way. Remember, I did not need to pull for this event. I already have enough fragments saved up from other um, fusion events that I've not yet collected. I'm doing this shard pool because it's a 2x on void shards. And that's the only time I pull my void shards. If you're wondering how did it free to play get this many void shards is because i don't pull except there is a 2x i currently have over 70 ancient shards so when the next 2x will be ancient make sure you subscribe right now so you can see that video when it comes out support the smaller youtubers that are coming up with fresh content for raid shadow legends please and also like the video if you want a man eater in your pools <laughs> when i pull about 12 or 10 rares i do get an epic please don't give me another man eater two man eaters is all you need if i pull a third one i'll be annoyed my dungeon runs are up to three minutes four minutes sometimes even five minutes but if i do pull a I was saying my dungeon runs are already slow so the whole purpose of getting what's her name now that void champion that can 
kill everybody in one go. Huntress, rare. Let's go a little faster. We have 20 more to go. Don't worry, the video is not going to be long. Everybody likes to watch shot pool videos and YouTube. That's one of my most popular content. And um, it's a type of um, content that resonates to everybody because you want to see what people get. And I also watch it for other YouTubers when they pull their shots, especially the ones they do on live streams. I can't live stream right now, so I have to record it and post on YouTube. Reliquary Tender. She's awesome. I already have her. If you're new, this champion should be built and taken to six star. She's a good candidate because you use her on all areas in the game, especially bosses that place a bunch of oh, third cold heart. Caught me right dead in my tracks of sentence that I was saying. If you do not have a cold heart yet, I'm sorry. I have one already. I have not seen the need to build two because of um, she doesn't do a lot of damage i guess for dungeons 21 to 25 that's when cold heart damages got nerfed i guess so having one it's enough so i still i was still leveling up a second one to use but i didn't actually get to do it because i don't need her yet cold heart is op Steadfast Marshall. I've heard a lot about this champion, but it's not somebody you take to a sister. You notice how I'm not even going to look at the uh, abilities because I really don't care about rares. You know, except their cold heart or um, this other champion I just showed you just now. Huntress, trash, food. Seducer. I already have this guy in my faction wars. He places block, buffs, debuff. A block, debuff, buff. I mean, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, block damage. No, this is a special skill. Block, debuff, buff for two turns and increase defense. I already have him in faction, faction wars. He's not that great. He dies a lot because I don't have him built with awesome gear to do that job. I just put rubbish gear on him and expect him to survive all those <laughs> hits. He gets targeted a lot. Fairhound, an awesome champion you can use for your campaign farmer if you don't have one yet. I was building one before I got a big one and then he just became food. But he's still a good candidate for... A stun set if you're gonna use him in other parts of the game. One of the main abilities is where is it? Continuous heal and reflect damage for fire knights. If you're struggling for fire knight, enough champions to take down the shield for the fire knight. His reflect damage takes down the shield that he places on all allies. One day I'm gonna do a video about him when I finally take him to six star. He's worth taking to six star, yes. Even if he's a rare. But don't prioritize him. You have more better epics to build for that role than a fair hound. A dagger. This is my second dagger. I've not built the first one. Her main ability is where is it? Placing decreased defense on all um enemies. And also this four hitter. No, this is not a four hitter, it's a two hitter. But it decreases the target's turn meter by 4% on each, each hit. Decrease attack and decrease defense. Decrease defense. Wait, how many decrease defense does she have? Has a 50% chance of placing 60% decrease defense for 2 turns, yes? Okay, this is for one enemy. The other one is an AoE. Why this is for one enemy? Decrease attack for one enemy has a 50% chance of placing 50% decrease attack buff instead if the target is under decrease defense. Oh, this one doesn't place decrease defense. She does decrease attack already. So her main skill is this one, I guess. 
for faction wars. This is a specialist for faction wars. You would really want to you want to build her for other parts of the game. She is a faction war specialist. That's where I see a lot of people use her. Is see she can, she doesn't even have an aura for faction and war crypt. Banner lords. I already have my banner lords doing well. They're all squishy, except a champion I just did a review about, Stagnite. Confessor Trash. I have seven more to go. Oh, this champion pool went so fast. And I still don't have my legendary champion. I thought Playroom called me to tell me that they're going to give me one today. Six more void shard pools. Do I still have one more epic to take? Come on, we've pulled about 20 with no epic dropping. Let's cut. American skeleton trash. Stitch Beast. He's a specialist for a particular part of the game that I do not want to review right now. But don't six star him. Except you have Bruce to waste. And epic, finally. It's a Basha. Basha is not a bad champion. Let's see his main skills. He places a weaken. He has a 75% chance of placing it. He's not 100%. For two turns, that's one skill that you need for the clan boss. Attacks all enemies, increases the cooldown of all the target skill by one. If you ascend it, it increases the skills by two turns. So I've seen him in the faction wars. When he attacks, all your skills just go on cooldown. So that's an awesome skill. especially for the arena so that's where i see him a lot too people use him for the arena and faction wars so if all the enemies that are about to attack you have all their skills increased by two tons they all have no choice but to do their a ones let's see his third um, ability attacks for champions at random okay has a 75 percent chance of placing block buffs debuff for two tons not that special so he's more for like a control champion because he does a cooldown of their skills and also places block balls so the first time he increases their cooldown and then the second time he does this i don't think this is a champion i will build except for faction wars so if you're struggling with the waves he comes in and controls them he's a perfect candidate for a stun set because of this skill i guess which is on a three ton cooldown nah what can you make him put on him um i'm thinking about this set that makes him take extra turns that would be good on him so he can do these skills a lot all right i have three more to go basha welcome i don't need you right now you go straight into the vault until i start building a faction wars team for that faction trash gear grinder two more to go do i have another epic or this is my legendary, legendary coming why do i keep getting a seducer a vampire is that why they call you a seducer all right the last and final void shard wish me luck so when will i get my void legendary champion period when because i'm sure i've pulled over 200 void shards during my time in this um game and i still don't have a legendary let's see how far we come in the fragment fusion in the tournament i mean let's see am i disappointed A little bit because a second monitor is not that exciting your first monitor blows you out of the water because you already have a pain keeper waiting pain keepers are easy to get champ chase do i qualify for the uh, no i'm definitely picking up this legendary tomb one two three i'll not pick this one up yet 
So I'm sitting at third position. I'm sure people will pull more void shots and just take over this position. I'm, I'm currently at two eight hundred. So if I pull two hundred more points, I can get this shard. I won't go for the top one, which is five thousand five. I don't need it. I don't even have shards for that. But I'll pull mystery shards to complete this and get it. All right, that has been my shard pulls. How close am I to this? fragment fusion five more no here you go rorik winebane five more oh i can even fight the um boss at doom tower today and still get five more fragments to pull this guy but hey i'm saving all my <laughs> fusion champions you see them listed here from vesov to Drexter, to Rue, to Acme. Now, Rorik will join them. I will not pull this champion when I get him. I will save him, just like I'm saving the, all these ones, for the next champ chase. So one day, I might find myself not needing to pull shards, especially if they do a 10x on an event, and I'm like, nah, I'm definitely not pulling for a 10x. That will be perfect time for me to pull this um, champion I've been saving. I'm sounding like a hoarder right now. Is there any other thing in i need to do i don't think so that has been my void chat pools please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos support the small content creators coming up with um, um new content for raid shadow legends my name is bricks 5d and i hope your shard pools goes better or better than mine i hope you get all your man eaters and all your pain keepers that you need to build on killable comps and if you need specific one like, I didn't name a specific legendary because I don't have one in mind. Any legendary would have been fine, but it wasn't in the locks for me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.